Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to talk about a print-on-demand site that you may not have heard about. It's called Cotton Bureau. So I wanted to do a series like this, videos like this, so that you can figure out if you want to use some a different print-on-demand site. I know I talk about these three a lot, but there's so many of them out there. If you're looking for another print-on-demand site or a different print-on-demand site, I think these videos can really help. I'm going to start with Cotton Bureau. We're going to go to their website and I'll show you everything I know about it, all the pros and cons and everything. So let's go to Cotton Bureau right now and check it out. So here we are on Cotton Bureau. You can see cottonbureau.com. It goes automatically to their shop and they sell some really cool uh, products. So you can see phone cases on here, glasses, uh, sweatshirts, and a lot of t-shirts. So some really cool designs on here. Now you may have noticed kind of the style that they're going for. You can't just put anything on here. This is really geared towards artists. In fact, they don't uh, accept everyone. It's kind of like Amazon where they kind of curate it. But let me show you exactly where to find all that information. So let's go here to company about us. And this kind of tells you about where they're at. They're in, they're a US company in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, and you can see that they've been in business 10 plus years, smaller company. Um, but really cool, uh, founded in 2013 and so on. And then I'm gonna go to how it works. And this is where you can learn a lot about it. So um, basic print on demand things that they're explaining on here. Uh, you don't have to buy inventory, they'll, they'll do it for you. You can submit a design, but this is where um, they say that it's Cotton Bureau is highly curated collection of t-shirts, hats, and drinkware. So I think it was originally made to help designers and illustrators for charities, but now anybody can go on here whether you have a charity or not. And then how does it work? So it's basic print on demand stuff here. Um, basically you upload, you have an idea, you upload it and they'll, they'll print everything for you. And this is why you should join uh, Cotton Bureau. Only the best designs, no AI. So if you're the type that you want to just get a ton of AI stuff and put it online for sale, this is not not the place for you. This is the place for people who want to think about art and create something really nice and like think about it. So it's not like a mass place like Amazon where you can just um, add a lot of stuff on here. So, so first, it has to be great designs. And second, you have to promote it. So they don't really have... Uh, a place or, or lots of traffic. So I should really talk about that next is the traffic. So according to similar web, I had to look this up. Cotton Bureau gets about 162,000 visits um, per month. So it's, it may sound big, but it's not really that big compared to some other print on demand sites. So here, let me put it against others. So when you compare it to T Public or Redbubble or even Etsy, it's really, really small. So T Public gets 7 million visits per month, Redbubble 19 million, and Etsy pretty giant 404 million. So it kind of gives you an idea of the traffic or organic traffic that you might get if you're on Cotton Bureau. All right, so we're back here on Cotton Bureau. I wanted to show you another thing, how easy it is to upload art. So you come down here and I would hit submit design right there. And it takes a little while. You'll notice if it's spinning, maybe I didn't click it, submit design, there you go. So it takes a little while to kind of get it started. But once it's here, let me show you what happens. So basically three different steps, very easy to do. You can use the same uh, file that you use, a PNG file that you use for a Merch by Amazon or Amazon Merch On Demand. You can see it has to be at least 4,000 pixels. And with Amazon Merch On Demand, I use 4,500 by 5,400, so that works. And I, I wanna show you this right here. Again, I talked about it being curated, but it says right here, Fair warning, we reject up to 90% of submissions. So um, be warned of that. You can't just put anything on here, but I think it's it's still a great place, uh, another place that you can sell t-shirts online, especially for Q4. How much does it cost me? Nothing, so that's a good thing. And do you offer branded stores? They do, but that, that does cost branded stores. And how much does it really cost me? Actually nothing, it's completely free to you. So, let me show you how to do it. I got one of my PNGs right here. I'm just gonna drag it in and you can see it's um, pretty slick, pretty fast. It's not gonna take that long. And once you're on here, this is the one I did for Design with Detour. It by default, it's shirt product type, but uh, you can do drinkware, hats, totes, and phone cases. But I like, of course, like to do t-shirts and you can do a print on demand or a campaign. I usually just do on demand. I've actually never done a campaign. It's a little different. 
uh, you have to uh, do different things and kind of apply so uh, I'm gonna just stick to on demand so next that was, I think that's oh that's still step one okay so next we go here and then you can pick the different colors so there's really nice t-shirts I need to buy one by the way just so we can do I can do a uh, show and tell and and unboxing but uh, I'm gonna pick black here as my primary color so you can see it's gonna show you what it looks like on black they look like really soft shirts and different types of shirts too you got the Gildan, the next level comfort colors and so on and so it goes on all these products uh, I can add another color by clicking here so maybe I want like a darker gray or charcoal or we got berry we got all these colors right so I'm just gonna do like a charcoal and see what that looks like there you go. So let me just do one more color here and I'll do, uh, I like red, but I think we need it to be darker here. So I'm going to go maroon and there you go. And you can make whichever one primary right now it's black. So the primary one is the one that will show on the shop. So there you go. Now that I have those, I can also pick where it's centered. So I don't have to, it's not that you like pull it in or out like some of the other ones where you size it down. You actually pick, the different sizes here so I could go really big like this or I could do centered or I could do medium so they have kind of their standard um, ways that they do this here so that's that's interesting that's different or you could do custom where you do come in here and kind of type in uh, what size it's going to be but I usually do large centered oh you also have a pocket one if you want to do a little little pocket thing too so that's kind of neat um, but I usually do large center here and then I'm going to hit next so you can see on here what the different colors options are when you do um, black and when you do charcoal and when you do maroon. So that's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to hit next. And then this is where you put your title and description. Description is optional, so I'm not going to do that. But I'm just going to do black sheep whoops, by choice right here. And this is where you put in your profit. I usually just leave it at $5, but you can see how much the retail prices are when you change that. So if I change this to $6, you can see that went up and so on. So premium and so on. And the prices are higher, but because of the collection that's on here and the type of people that shop on here, I've, I've sold a bunch at, at these prices. So I'm gonna leave it at five here uh, and then it says here, remember you earn an extra dollar on every sale on top of the profit you sent here, uh, you set here thanks to your lifetime bonus. Oh, I guess I have a lifetime bonus since I've already sold some. I don't know if everybody gets to see that. Um, there you go, that's how easy it is. Advanced settings, I've actually never looked at this. Make this product available immediately after submitting. Oh, by default, yes, that's what I want too. All right, so submit and we're going to hit submit right there and that's it it's pretty easy three-step process and not that hard so you can upload a bunch one thing you may not know about this that i should tell you is that they have a tier system as well so um, they're going to give you the first 10 like a tier 10 and then if you don't get enough sales with those 10, you won't be able to add more. So they, they also have a kind of the same tier system as Amazon. Uh, but you can see here after I uploaded it, you can check if it's great, um, check out the different colors and, and so on, uh, tees and long sleeve and, and different things to make sure that it's all right, uh, men, women, and youth and so on. So $25 t-shirt and you can see the t-shirt. So let me show you all of mine. I'll go to my account, what it looks like. So right now you can see these are all my sales. The nice thing that I like about it is I did get that extra dollar sometimes uh, here. So I got $6 here um, now, uh, before I used to get five, and then I, I'm guessing these were on sale or maybe I didn't select $5 before. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, usually $5, which is the nice, it's a nice profit margin for t-shirts. Uh, usually on other print on demand sites like Redbubble and Tee Public, you don't get that much. So, so far I've sold 20 designs on here. You can see right there, but I only have 54 products and um, in the last month or so is when I've added the bulk of that. I've only had 10 or so products in the beginning, which is why my designs or sales were really slow in the beginning, but now I'm, 
I'm getting more sales as I add more and more stuff. But again, uh, you don't get any, really get any organic traffic here. One thing that's nice is I need to show you an email that they send out every week. So every week or so, uh, Content Bureau will send this out right here. And if you're lucky enough to make it to their newsletter, you kind of get a boost of sales. And I've been on there a few times, but you can see they do stuff like this. And then I'm not on here for this one, but they can hit shop all shirts, but they kind of promote these few uh, from their site and they get a big boost of sales or a big boost of advertise, free advertising, not necessarily sales because it would depend on uh, there, but the chances of you making a sale if you're on here are, are pretty good. So there you go, that's everything you need to know about Cotton Bureau. It's kind of a small print on demand site. Uh, again, I don't get a ton of sales from it, but I think it's a good one if you're looking for an alternative, if you're an artist, if you like these kinds of things right here. So I would search this website and see if these are the kinds of designs that you like doing. Are you a person that likes to hand draw your stuff? Do you have some pop culture ideas because a lot of these um, go around pop culture and they're kind of like hand drawn you can see that font probably is hand drawn uh, text designs do well here but you can see this text design isn't just straight up helvetica text it's kind of creative so more for creatives i would say uh, if you like dribble and drawing and, and things like that i think this site is really good for you if you like drawing cartoons or, or other things i think this can be really helpful. It's just another way for you to sell your art and, and put it on different things. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a, a product review on these. Maybe I can buy a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a glass or, or a phone case and we can look at the quality of Cotton Bureau. But I think it's a nice little shop. Again, you'll have to drive your traffic, um, but uh, you can get a few sales. And I like the margins on it, the $6 margin per sale on a, on a shirt. So there you go. That's everything I know about Cotton Bureau. Hopefully you like it. If it matches with you, you can go and sign up. I think it's a great one for artists. Uh, not as much traffic, but also really cool. I think the, the products that they have and the markup that they have are, are pretty cool too. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you want to see another print on demand site I can do a review for and, and show you everything I know about that one. Uh, leave that that one in the comments as well. If you want to learn more about print on demand, here's a video about things that you shouldn't do, busting some myths about print on demand. Uh, you can watch that one too. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.